Imagine a civilization that could harness the power of an entire planet, solar system, or even whole universe, reshaping stars, planets, and entire solar systems to sustain its humongous energy needs. A civilization so advanced that could hide its presence from the whole universe, not even leaving a single trace behind. And by advance, I mean a civilization so incredibly advanced that could potentially create its own universe and control the flow of time. This is the captivating realm of the Kardashev scale, a measure of a civilization's technological powers measured by its energy consumption. Over the last few millenniums, Earth has experienced remarkable changes. In the vast 13.7 billion year timeline of the universe, our presence is but a mere fraction. In 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev introduced an innovative concept to gauge the advancement of civilizations. He devised the Kardashev scale, a system that classifies a civilization's technological progress by evaluating its energy consumption. A type zero civilization is reliant on fossil fuels, faces environmental challenges, and has not yet achieved interstellar travel. Our capacity to harness and control energy is limited compared to the advanced civilizations described in higher Kardashev scale. This is where Earth currently resides, or to be more precise, we're at New Point 7 as we have altered the planet's landscape, but we're still far from reaching the level of control the Type 1 civilization has over the planet. So how did we calculate we're at 0.7 on Kardashev scale. An American astronomer, astrophysicist, cosmologist, and author, Carl Sagan, introduced a formula to define a civilization's Kardashev rating based on its energy use, placing us at approximately 0.72 on the scale. A type one civilization is a stage where humanity achieves complete control over the Earth tapping into all the planet's available energy sources. Through harnessing energy from diverse sources like oceans, sunlight and winds, this civilization attains mastery over planetary scale energy production. This ascendancy grants the power to potentially manipulate weather patterns, seismic activities and other geological elements on a global scale. Imagine creating natural disasters just to generate energy or reshaping the landscapes. As humanity transcends the barriers of the past, sustainability becomes a guiding principle, driving the extensive use of renewable energy sources worldwide. Poverty is eradicated, fostering a unified global entity. Technological advancements play a key role, enabling seamless communication across continents transforming the world into an intricately interconnected society. Advancing to a Type II civilization, humanity has honed its capabilities to harness the power of their entire star system. Through the construction of megastructures like Dyson Spheres, capturing and utilize the star's energy, unlocking new opportunities for energy abundance. With this profound energy control, they have expanded their reach beyond their home planet venturing into the colonization of neighboring planets and becoming multi-planetary species. Missions to neighboring planets and celestial bodies have become routine, paving the way for a multi-planetary existence. The construction of habitable zones within their star system demonstrates their commitment to exploration and expansion. The humanity's presence now spans across multiple worlds transforming them into an interstellar society. This is where things get interesting. At this stage, humanity has escaped its solar system and can now harness the energy of an entire galaxy. They've mastered interstellar travel and can control the energy output of billions of stars. This newfound capability has propelled them to a position of prominence in their galactic neighborhood. Imagine a vast network of civilizations interacting across star clusters and galactic systems. Cultural diversity 
is celebrated across numerous star systems and their influence extends far beyond their home galaxy. Their understanding of cosmic phenomena and ability to manipulate cosmic scale energy is unparalleled. Although original Kardashev's scale only has three advanced civilizations from type 1 to 3, but the list has expanded since to add four more types. It is theorized by astronomers that at a type 4 level, humanity has expanded its reach to manipulate the energy of multiple galaxies. Their grasp of technology allows them to traverse the vast expanses between galaxies. They have established themselves as a significant force on a cosmic scale, extending their influence over immense cosmic distances. The sight of megastructures that span galaxies and sophisticated cosmic networks they have constructed is a sight to behold. They've propelled themselves into the position of guardians, overseeing the management and coordination of cosmic systems. As humanity evolved to a type five civilization and transcend the constraints of their understanding of time and space. Their capabilities extend to manipulating the energy of multiple universes and traversing through diverse dimensions. Their comprehension of physics surpasses conventional understanding and they wield power across multiple realities. Imagine a society that navigates through alternate realities and dimensions with ease, harvesting energy and resources from realms unknown to us. Their understanding of the multiverse opens up possibilities beyond comprehension. Advancing further to a Type 6 civilization, humanity expand their influence into parallel realities and timelines. They have mastered the manipulation of energy from alternate dimensions, achieving an unparalleled level of understanding and manipulation of the multiverse. Maybe then I can meet the President Me from another reality, or check if One Piece is completed in another reality. They have developed a profound understanding of the interconnectedness of various dimensions and timelines. Their existence transcends the limitations of a single reality, operating as cosmic architects, navigating through an intricate web of existence. Maybe at this point in time, with all these multiverses, humanity wouldn't be the only civilization. By now, there's a good chance we've discovered or even created multiple civilizations of other new species across different universes. At a Type 7 level, humanity has transcended the known limitations of physics. They have evolved into multidimensional entities and can manipulate the very fabric of reality. Their understanding of existence surpasses any conventional understanding of life and reality. They exist as cosmic beings, manipulating the very fabric of reality, transcending the limitations of a singular dimensional existence. Their capabilities and influence extend far beyond our comprehension. But how would you look like if humanity reached the type six or seven civilization? Definitely not how you look right now. Or maybe you could if you want to, but for the civilization which is so advanced, will there even be a need for physical body when you could just materialize anywhere in whatever shape and form you want? Maybe your consciousness will be spread throughout the multiverse on the interwoven web. By the way, if we could just materialize anywhere we want, would there even be a need for transportation? Let's explore this portal another time at same place maybe with another you.